Okay. Um, TOEFL is also one part of uh, test uh, that will decide your admission to colleges. Okay. And that will also decide so winning scholarships from the university or colleges that you are intended to apply. Okay. And for uh, the registrations of TOEFL, um, you have to register TOEFL by these two paths. One is online and one is by TOEFL voucher. Which means uh, first you have uh, to create an account through the um, www.tofu.com and you have to sign up and create an account for TOEFL and well registering your TOEFL account you have to give uh, details like date of birth, your address and your date of birth, address, name and uh, your passport number I mean the uh, passport number, okay? Then so you don't have passport, so you should give the uh, uh, IC number, okay? Because uh, well, <coughs> this uh, this data should be same as app on which appears on your IC, okay? And uh, after registration, then if you are intended to take a TOEFL test. On particular date, uh, you have to pay TOEFL fee by online, which can be done by um, you have pre paying through credit card. And uh, if you don't have credit card or credit card, you have to buy a TOEFL voucher. And TOEFL in TOEFL voucher means uh, they will give you a number, which will be sent to your email and like uh, number. And when using this number, you have to register for a TOEFL test. And, uh, and to, <coughs> well, taking a TOEFL test, so if you intended uh, and already selected a TOEFL test, when appear for the TOEFL test, you have to carry your IC for those different students. You have to carry an IC and uh, you have to, uh, well, print out a confirmation sheet which will appear after you register your TOEFL. Okay. Uh, and uh, and you have if you have already appeared for TOEFL test, and uh, the result will be declared online. Okay, declared online, and you will have you can browse your result while visiting uh, TOEFL.com and by using username that you have re registered in TOEFL. Okay, and can use this <coughs> your account to see your result. And um, and while registering, they will um, offer you. Um, they will they will send you results for two universities or three colleges for free. Okay, so um, if you are intended to apply to a university like uh, University of. Uh, Georgetown or Chicago or Pennsylvania if you want to apply while you're registering for your TOEFL test you want to send this, uh, your TOEFL score to this three university so they will automatically send your score to the three of this university okay and uh, if you want to send your score to more than three then you have to pay an, an extra fee okay Any questions regarding TOEFL? No. Okay. Uh, I guess, I think um, if you, well, preparing for TOEFL, if you go to watch uh, a good movies, uh, I mean American movies, um, it will help you well uh, for the listening, okay? Movie. Uh, American movies. Films. Uh, how many can we give you? Uh, how many topics can we give you? Uh, okay. Uh, actually, there is no limit. Uh, you will, if you give your first test, and 
you don't satisfy it, you, will, uh, you can give the second test and apply for the second test. Roughly, and actually the roughly 24 camera because uh, probably at least twice a month. Yeah, and uh, you have an opportunity. And you can do it as often as, as you want to. Some universities will want to know how many times you have taken the tests. But to take them three or five times, I don't think is any problem. But if you apply for a university and you have done a test 25 times, maybe they get a bit suspicious about you. Uh, sorry for interrupting. And uh, there's validity <coughs> of the TOEFL score. Uh, so the validity is uh, two years. If you don't use your TOEFL score within two years, it will be expired. <coughs> So any questions regarding TOEFL? Can I have two additions to what you said, Sonam? It is, uh, I still learn from you. <laughs> but there's some things I have already learned from you. And that is, when you register for the TOEFL test, it is better to do it as soon as possible, for at least three reasons. Try to count how many reasons I give. The first reason is, uh, the seats are limited in each position because they have computers there. So when the room is full, the room is full. And then you, in one case at least, TOEFL or SAT test, we had to change location totally, from Delhi to there, I don't know the other way, because we were too late. Second reason is that there is a free trial test, uh, part of the test, I don't think it's a complete test, that is advisable to do. This is an advice that Zella always gives. Uh, and I hope Zella is coming tomorrow morning. She's stuck with her IC application. Uh, and the uh, third reason is for your own planning. It is better to have a set date and time enough to prepare than to say, TOEFL, I will do when you start work. At least that's the way I work, and I don't have a date when I have to do it. So it, it's easier to know that on the 24th of June, I will do a TOEFL test. And I know that best two months in advance and then I can plan my uh, studies and my training according to that. Uh, so in brief, uh, plan to do it as soon as possible. Uh, then I do not remember TOEFL. Can we, do we have three free universities uh, and we can also add them afterwards? I think that was the case, but I didn't know. So I forced you to, to decide universities when we registered. But I think you have three free and you can add them afterwards. And only three universities is very uncommon uh, when it comes to applying. Maybe students that have uh, make early action to one or two universities are accepted, maybe they will not use more. But if you do normal procedure, uh, I think very few students do only three uh, universities. So most of them will add, add universities afterwards uh, to that TOEFL test and SAT test. Okay. I forgot to say something. Uh, when you appear on actual TOEFL test, you don't have to bring pencil and scrap paper, and they will provide you pencil and scrap paper. And uh, after reading and listening, um, there will be a short break of uh, 15 minutes. So, which is basically. If you want to go to toilet or like that, you have to 15 minutes break, and after 15 minutes, you have to complete speaking and uh, writing. Uh, also, I forgot something. Uh, after writing is not finished, and there will be questions like uh, you have to choose. Um, uh, there will be questions like um, whether you want to cancel your TOEFL test or not. You will say. Uh, yes or no. Oh, that's if very important. So you have to choose yes uh, since you don't want to cancel your TOEFL score. Okay. Once uh, I'm appearing for TOEFL test, um, I have forgot to select yes or no. Well, um, and I I was at the gate, you know, to get, and I rush directly towards the TOEFL center and click yes. So you don't forget about this question, very important, okay? And, and so now, is it that the answer should be yes? Yeah, because, because the, the, it, uh, yeah, okay, because I mean, it's not quite clear. And you are also often confused whether to answer yes or no when you talk to Westerners. Very often when we expect, when the answer is 
positive of say. When we expect yes, you say no, and when we expect no, you say yes. But that question should be yes, regardless of the, what the question is. <laughs> Last question is yes, always. In the afternoon, we have a small test on TOEFL well, listening on listening part. Okay, that's all about TOEFL. Okay. If you have any questions, you can ask me later. Thank you.